In these problems, we are multiplying binomials. And in this case, the binomials are something called conjugates. And that is they have the same numbers and letters in the same arrangement. And the only thing that's different is the sign between them. So here we have 9w minus 2u times 9w plus 2u. And there's actually a special pattern that happens when you multiply conjugate binomials. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. But really, anytime you see a pair of binomials, you can always use FOIL. Just multiply the first terms, the outside terms, the inside terms, the last terms, and then simplify, combine your like terms, and you'll get the right answer. So let's just do it like that first. Then I'm going to show you the pattern. And you can decide if you want to use that. Um, we'll see if we can predict the answer with that pattern for the next one and then test it by FOILing it out. So first of all, let's FOIL this one up here. We have the first terms 9w times 9w. Well, 9 times 9 is 81. w times w would be w squared. Let's do our outside terms, 9w times 2u. 9 times 2 is 18. It's a positive 18. And w times u, we just write those letters together. I'm going to write the u first, uw. And let's do the inside terms, negative 2u don't forget that minus sign, times 9w is minus 18uw. And then finally, the last terms, a negative 2u and a positive 2u is a negative 4u squared. Now, when we come to combine the like terms, this is where things get kind of interesting. We have a plus 18uw and a minus 18uw. So this adds up to 0. So we don't even need to write it. And this is what happens. This is part of the pattern of what happens with multiplying conjugate binomials. So we end up with a simpler answer here than you might have expected, 81w squared minus 4u squared. That's our answer. What this shows is that something squared minus another thing squared is the same as that thing minus the other thing times that thing plus the other thing, conjugate binomials here. So if you can figure out what your terms are of your binomial and that they're conjugates, you can simply write the answer that first thing squared minus the second thing squared. Let's apply that pattern down here. Here we're multiplying 7z plus 4y by 7z minus 4y. So the terms are the same here. We've just got the difference in the, the plus or the minus. So these are definitely conjugate binomials. The first thing would be 7z, and the second thing would be 4y. So I'm going to predict that this equals, let's see, squaring the first thing, 7 squared is 49, and z squared would be what z squared is. And then minus the second thing, 4 squared is 16, and then y squared. So that should be our answer. But let's go ahead and FOIL this out just to double check. So multiply the first terms. 7 times 7 is 49. z times z is z squared. Your outside terms, 7 and negative 4, 7z and negative 4y, that's minus 28yz. And the inside terms, 4y times 7z is plus 28yz. And the last terms, 4y times a negative 4y is negative 16 y squared. Aha, uh -huh. and again, these two add up to zero. So we end up with 49z squared minus 16y squared, just what we had predicted. So that is how to multiply conjugate binomials.